You need attorneys that deliver big results. Call Sweet James. Maybe it's your mom, the kids next door, or even you. 15 million Californians have health care because of Medi-Cal. But budget cuts have left patients waiting months just to see a doctor. That's why voting yes on Prop 35 is so important. It guarantees health care funding that can't be redirected. So we train more health care workers and keep hospitals and ERs open. Yes on 35 protects Medi-Cal for the ones you care about the most. Hi, everybody. I'm Jay Long, and I've teamed up with Yamaha Resort and Casino at San Manuel for their one-of-a-kind car giveaway. And on Halloween, October 31st, we're giving away my personal favorite muscle car, the Dodge Demon 170. Not only will the lucky winner drive off in this incredible ride, I'll give you a tour of my garage and show you some stuff that I think you might enjoy. So join us for this legendary car giveaway and a tour of my garage. And of course, if nobody wins, the car goes to me. <laughs> Right now at three, he's accused of leading police on an overnight chase, then shooting and killing an innocent passenger. In a few moments, we'll find out what charges the man arrested in the Metro bus hijacking is facing. A dramatic and wild scene unfolds under a bridge near the 710 freeway. We're learning new details about how this police pursuit started with a pharmacy break-in. And the line fire in San Bernardino County roars back to life. The new flare-up comes as the heat makes a comeback to Southern California. The NBC4 News at 3 starts now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Annabelle Sedano. Let's get right to it. We begin at 3 with the latest on the fire danger. We have team coverage with NBC4's Christian Casares live with the latest on the line fire. But first, let's get it started with NBC4's meteorologist David Bigger. And David, let's talk about those conditions. Well, fortunately for the firefighters today, Annabelle, the conditions have been not very windy, but unfortunately they've been very dry. You can see that for all of our observation sites around the area, we've been looking at humidities in about the 10 to 20 percent range. In fact, right now, on Converse Flats, we've had about 12% humidity and the occasional gust into the 10 to 15 mile per hour range. This is where most of the activity has been for today is around this area here, but fortunately not super windy. However, the wind is still carrying some of the smoke away from the fire, and that's going to be a concern as we go through the overnight hours tonight. This is a look at the smoke future cast. The darker this gets and the redder it gets is an indication of more dense smoke, and if it continues to put up as much smoke as it was showing earlier today, there's a potential we might have a little bit of a wind shift tonight that carry some of this into the lower elevation so everybody might get a little sense of that smoke during the overnight hours. As part of the reason why there's a smoke advisory for areas of the Inland Empire in close proximity to the fire, we'll have details on what we're looking at over the next couple of days with the heat coming up in just a couple of minutes. Back over to you, Annabelle. All right, David, thank you very much for that. And our team coverage continues with NBC 4s Christian Gossett as he's live in Angeles Oaks. Christian. Well, Annabelle, I can tell you fire officials tell us what happened yesterday was not completely unexpected, even though the line fire is holding at about 43,000 acres and is about 80% contained. But I do want to draw your attention to what's happening behind us here. We are standing along Highway 38 right now, and this rest stop here has basically turned into a small command post for fire crews, but you can really see the smoke out in the distance. This is basically a result of a backfire that crews set off earlier this afternoon to protect this community. Now, the smoke many witnessed on Sunday and even today comes from an open area. Fire officials say they didn't have contained. Now, it's a very steep and rugged area that they expected would burn because of those dry conditions and the hot temperatures, but the winds fueled the spread. Now, this caused an evacuation order for the Barton Flats and Seven Oaks areas and an evacuation warning for Angeles Oaks and the southwest side of Big Bear Lake. Also, a portion of Highway 38 remains closed and State Route 330 also closed for repair work at, Hi at Highland Avenue and Live Oak. However, fire crews say they are keeping a close eye if the winds change course. Seven Oaks, which is down in the bottom of the drainage, is pushing in that direction. Uh, it's, um, I don't know how many homes are down there, mostly cabins, a lot of them are weekend cabins or vacation cabins but it's pushing in that direction. But that being said, we have structure protection group down there already, just in case it does get to that community. Now the line fire has been burning for almost a month now and investigators believe it was started by a 34 year old man from Norco. He is expected to be in court tomorrow, but back out here live, you can, you can see just how much smoke is coming from that backfire. Fire